and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. As I can see in my little window in here in front of her, it is pretty much showing you what we are going to be working on today. And I hope you enjoyed that little start video uh, where I showed that I uh, designed a small program on our uh, testing rig. It's pretty much using this function to perform that a sequence that what you've seen in the beginning of the video. So what is a zone compare? Zone compare, is where this is one thing we're going to be working on and we're also going to be working for a zone reset, which can show that in a minute. Zone compare is very similar to a uh, normal compare function. It just gives you a little bit extra where you can have a better control what happens after um, a 4 bit comes on. So let me talk you through how that works. So you can see down there, we got now we got instead of one value, we got two values that we are comparing to. And make sure that the lower value is always first than the, than, than the higher value, because if you do other way around, it will totally ignore, ignore the higher uh, the, the lower value in the second position. It will just work as a normal uh, compare. So make sure that is uh, the case in here. So as you can see down there, for the M3 to come on, the value of C30 has to be uh, below K100, which is basically 100. So, and uh, for the M4 to come on, the C30 has to be above or equal to K100 or below or equal K120. So we'll be waiting now. So rather than jumping straight as soon as, uh, let's say, we'll come uh, 101 to turn on M5 like a normal compare would do, he would uh, uh, wait until it passes, as you can see in here. The C30 has to be higher than K120. And that's pretty much how the zone compare would work. And if you look at if we look at it, how the zone reset would work, it's very, very straightforward as well. It's something useful to know is how to basically reset all the bits you you as, as, as you can see two, two values you can select in here and it will set all the bits from the starting bit all the uh, all the way to the end bit you selected in the second window so if you want to reset m1 and then you put m10 in there so it's going to reset m1 m all the way every single bit till 10 will be reset with just one function so and you can do that with the counters and the timers and uh, things like that as well in there so uh, that option it is well as you can see even chosen here every single bit off of will be completely turned off so that's how zone reset works so without further ado let's crack on so let's uh, start up our uh, window and how do we uh, formulate our zone compare so as always remember we need some form of a, a, a pulse to to read every time you want to read the what's going on uh, when, every time we, we want to compare it to happen it needs to start, have a own signal so in our case we are going to put x3 on that one because that's what we're using on the station down there for our start button uh no actually we're going to change that to m because we're going to be doing internal in it let's change that to m3 so and then we need to create a, that as you can see down here we need to go to a application instructions and in there zcp remember how that marks then the, our lowest value we're going to go for k2 why not and next value is going to be uh, k5 uh, and so we gave you so it's easier to uh, to show how that works and and then we are what we're comparing to so we can say c zero and then what bits are going to be turning on m let's say 10 why not m10 so here we go that's how you formulate the whole uh, compare uh, zone compare so uh, let me uh, quickly uh, design the rest of the program and how talk you through how uh, that works here we go so we done here we go we've done the program quickly so as you can see down there m0 will be activating our counter and then we got a uh, corresponding bits the ones are going to be turning on which is m10 m11 and m12 as the values will change the next one i could show you on the camera is guys if you want to see how i designed uh, write this program up in here then let me know in comments below because i do think this is not necessary for you to see because this is just going to be too repetitive so uh for the reset we're just gonna do m4 and 
again we, we go for a application uh, uh, instruction so in there we have to say z r s t and then we say what's the first uh, first bit that we want to reset we're going to say uh, let me just uh, take that off quickly as you can see now we want to reset uh, the uh, m10 element and m12 uh, so let's do it again so uh, z r s t m10 2 m 12 basically space in between them and by doing that it is okay as you can see now it shows you that he's going to be resetting the those uh, values from m10 all the way to m12 so that's how pretty much zone uh, reset works so let's add a we need to reset the counter as well so rst C zero. Remember, you can only to uh, put in there the chorus uh, that the uh, same uh, bits, so, so same group of uh, bits in there. So if you want to reset the counters in there, you would say from C zero to whatever the C you want to re reset. But make sure there are just the C's in there, and not like mix of names, and you can't do that. So that's pretty much at least with this uh, uh, function. So so uh, there we go. So once we've done that. There you go. So uh, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go into test it out, how that works, and show you how that is all operational. So let's do that. So now that we are in our um, uh, simulation mode, so one more thing we're going to do, if you go online, as you can see down there's a little watch window in there. Let's go register to watch. And then we pretty much can say what we want to register to watch. So you can do that. So if you go to the counter, right click it, and uh, click it register to watch and in here we can say start the watch so if you can see now now we'll be able to monitor what values are changing so we are not going to rather than clicking in here we're going to be changing values in here but first things first what we need to do we need to send our first uh basically tell them to start reading so no start reading start comparing so to do that we're going to go from uh, uh modify click it on as you can see in here he has read that C0 is below K2 value, then uh, Y0 uh, comes on, which is our first bit, which is M10. So for the M11 to come on, we need that value to be equal or larger. Now, C, C to be equal or larger than this value in here, which is 2. So let's go to, to here, and we change that to 2. As you can see, uh, M10 has turned off. And because the C2 is equal to K2, or it could be larger. So see what happens if you go, if you say to C0 to, let's change that to 4. So you can see nothing changes because the value K5 is still larger than a C value. So even if, which I just come on, so it's set 5 nothing's changed and let's quickly change this window i should always do that and uh before i just change that one to 17. so we can see much better what uh, what is going on and as you can see in here uh the y2 is not on because the value has to be past that so let's change that one to the maximum we can do which is a7 and voila as you can see the y2 has come on because the c value is higher than the selected k part k value in the second window so that's ladies and gentlemen how the zone compare would work so let's remove the signal from this guy uh, just go to down that and off so remember, if you want that to be just a pulse, just add the P in the end on all, all, all of these functions, and that will be just a pulse. And now, no matter how long this stays on, it will just accept it once. So, and to reset it, we just uh, modify the X4. As you can see, he reset pretty much everything. So that's how the zone reset would work. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be it for this video. Hopefully I have got the message across and, and uh, 
and uh, uh, there's a small little program at the beginning video which is sort of uh, give you sort of idea what you could use for obviously you can use it for a lot more than that but it's giving you an idea how does zone compare work and it's quite a useful function so definitely uh, check it out so other than that ladies and gentlemen that will be it for this video thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed that video please uh, smash that like if you didn't smash the dislike let me know in the comments below uh, what, what, what you would like to see more and what you what bores you out pretty much let that know as well so uh other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video